What's going on guys, welcome back to another beer review. Today we are reviewing Zero Zero by Arbor Brewery. Um, this is a Session New England IPA as it says on their can. Um, Arbor always have really similar can artwork, they just always have that um, that leaf and then the actual background to it um, always depends on, on what the beer is and it's always unique to each beer. It's always got, it's got this kind of textured can artwork as well which has like kind of embossed um, that ma kind of maple look, maple leaf looking. I mean, it's a, a brewery from Bristol, so I'm not really sure why the, the, ma the leaf is kind of important, but uh, nevertheless, <clears throat> this is called Zero Zero. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, when I first uh, picked this up, I really thought this was gonna be a non-alcoholic beer, which is totally fine. You know, really good that breweries make them, really good that they exist in the world. Um, perfect, you know, really good for a lot of people for a number of reasons. Um, but yeah, um, it's not, it's 4.3%, uh, it's 2.4 UK units therefore, because I think in a channel first, we're looking at an actual pint sized can. That's one of the reasons I really like Arbor, because they're pint sized cans. Um, you know, the full 568 milliliter to fill this kind of glass, not 440, we're talking 568. So um, I'm really happy with that. Um, I love, as you guys know, as I said, say all the time, New England IPAs are my favourite IPAs. And this is a session one, so it's a slightly lower percentage, 4.3%. Um, but um, yeah, and as it says on the back here, it's a session strength New England IPA, brewed with citra and mosaic hops aplenty. Citra and mosaic, always hear them. Um, so hopefully it'll be zesty and fruity from my very limited palate. We shall see. Um, but also I don't want to kind of artificially implant those flavours. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll get this beer out into a glass. A nice, slightly dusty now. I've had this one for a little while. Bought it in my local shop actually. Bearing in mind I'm in the southeast. These are in the southwest. Um, but yeah, lovely black top there. So let's get it out into the can. I have to do a slow pour. We'll see if it fizzes up too much. There. It's fizzing a little bit tiny bit on top there, but not whizzing out the can either. Really fruity straight away on the nose. Oh, really giving me the IPA smell. All right, steady hand is the key. Either way, I don't think we're gonna get it in, in one pour. Nice bit of head there. We are talking sort of two inches of head, but completely white and a nice, um, a nice sort of yellowy, yellowy to light orange, hazy uh, body to the beer. Oh, it smells so lovely. It smells so fruity. It smells so tropical. All those smells that I really associate with IPAs. So I'm already excited. You guys can tell. I've had a few beers by Arbor before, just sort of in my own capacity um but not actually reviewed them on the channel yet so it's really nice to be able to do that and to share this moment with you guys arbor to me um they're a bit like daya in the sense that they're kind of a craft brewery that's kind of broken out from their own town a lot more or their own city whatever um or like uh overtone or something like that you know they seem in the craft world they feel a bit more like household names that you know they're not quite Brewdog or Beaver Town or Tiny Rebel, but they are kind of still kind of mid tier. You know, you guys can tell me if you'd perhaps disagree with that. A lot of what I say should always be taken with a pinch of salt, to be fair. That head's going down quite uh, quite nicely. Um, there's big bubbles in it. Oh, lovely and fruity. Fruity and it's still got that sweetness to it as well. I'm just gonna ruin it now. I'm not gonna get the whole can out, am I? I might as well start sipping and then add to it. But how nice would it have been if we got the whole can out? Oh well. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna start sipping in, in just a minute. I don't think there's a lot more I need to talk about really with Arbor. Um, they've told us what hops we're expecting. Um, we know the percentage. Um, yeah, we know what it is. Um, they only say it's a session New England IPA because they've just brewed it to the percentage of a New England uh, of a session, sorry. But it is New England, and uh, maybe that's why I'm getting so excited with those fruity flavours, you know. Maybe it's because it's all that I associate with New England IPAs. 
who knows right let's let's get into it guys cheers that's lovely oh that's so lovely I'm gonna get a few more sips out of it um, before I start to explain the flavours and stuff, but oh, lovely. Oh, it's fruity, <clears throat> it's a tiny bit zesty. Um, you know, we've got these really lovely tropical flavours coming through. Got a tiny, tiny bit of bitterness on them as well, but only a tiny bit like just resinous flavours. Oh, it's so, I can't explain it, it's just so delicious. It's just everything that I love in an IPA. It's just all those flavours. It's lovely kind of zesty, zesty fruity flavour is exactly what I, I, I look for. You know, that's so tasty. It's hazy, you know, it's not the thickest, obviously. It's fairly thin one, fairly thin in, in terms of mouthfeel too, not too creamy or anything. And obviously not incorporating like, I don't think it's incorporating like lactose or anything. Yes, it's vegan, so, um, but oh, so nice, so just so tropical, I guess, is the is the word for it. Oh, yeah, really getting those fruity notes. Um, I presume um, the zesty, the trop, the zestiness I'm getting from the citra, I think the tropicalness I'm getting from the mosaic, from my understanding of my very, very, very limited understanding of hops. But yeah, this is just perfect for me because, you know, it's not too strong, it's not the immediate, it's not giving me a headache while I'm drinking it, whoops. Um, but it's uh, it's still got all that flavour. This is a really, really lovely one. If they could keep that flavour and make this alcohol free, I bet it'd be amazing. I'm sure they do an alcohol free one and I'm sure it's full of, uh, full of flavour. But, oh God, that's really, really delicious. If you're a fan of New England, um, but perhaps you don't like them to be too heavy, see if you can get your hands on this. This is absolutely delicious. Um, just, just full of bags of flavour and for 4.3%, amazing. I think I'm ready to rate it. I'm going to give it one more sip, but... Yeah. Just, just full of tropical... Um, Fruity flavours, really nice, you know, tiny stings of the hops, but not a massive bit of bitterness, really. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this one a 4.25, I think. Really, really lovely flavours, really, really tropical. I think um, the only reason I'm not giving it a, like, a 4.5, 4.75, 5, um, is just because, like, um, perhaps, like, a, a, a kind of... Thicker, thicker cut. It's hazy anyway, but like more hazy um, would have would have sort of got it there for me. But yeah, really, really lovely one and a really nice effort to make not such a strong um, New England IPA. I think that's really good. New England's I don't really feel like tend to be super strong. They're not like double IPAs, um, but at the same time, I don't think I've ever had a New England IPA that's kind of as low as four point three percent. Perhaps I have, but you know. Um, that's the whole point. They're saying it's sessionable with all the flavour. I think that's why I'm rating it so highly because I really feel like they've achieved that and they've done that really well. But anyway, guys, let me know what you thought if you've tried it or any of your favourite kind of Arbor beers or what just what beers you're trying at the moment. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy it. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next beer review. Peace.